Good morning. It is such a privilege to be with you once again today as we celebrate as part of Christian Week Maundy Thursday today. I pray that it will be a blessed day as we prepare ourselves for the crucifixion, death and resurrection of Christ as we celebrate it over this time of Easter. And this morning I would just like to read from John chapter 13 verses 1 to 17. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments and, taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you want to wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you will have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, The one who has betrayed, the one who has bathed, does not need to wash except for the, his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, Not all of you are clean. When he had washed their feet and put on his utter garment and resumed his place. He said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. The one thing that I notice as I read through this text is that it reminds us that as Christians, that there is no place for pride, but that we need to follow the path of humility. Here is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And here are his disciples bickering about who is going to be the leader when he is gone. But yet Jesus tells them, Christian leadership is not about being the boss. He tells them that being a Christian is not lording it over others, but that we need to serve. For you see, Jesus Christ did not come to be served, but to serve. And so he encourages us to serve. For you see, Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price on the eve of speaking these words. He speaks these words because he knows that in a little while he is going to teach them what it means to serve. As he sacrifices his life so that we may come into a relationship with God the Father and that we may be saved from sin and that we may be redeemed by his love and grace. And so this morning, may I encourage you, remove all pride from your heart, humble yourself, and follow Christ, and bring glory and honor to his name as you serve him. For you see, when we humble ourselves, we bring glory, honor, and praise to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Come, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you this morning that we can share in your presence. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us. And our Lord, teach us to humble ourselves. Teach us to become a servant as you were our servant. And indeed, Lord, may we do these things so that we may bring glory, honor, and praise to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God be with you through this day. 
and may you find grace and security in his love and grace for you. Goodbye.